Good morning guys, welcome back to channel MPD Tailing, it's Neil here. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in today. Today we've got another car that I'm going to be doing, it's an Audi S5. Um, it's on a 2015 plate, um, customers have very low mileage, only something got like 8,000 on the, on the clock, uh, which is nothing, you know. For a 15 plate, that's amazing mileage. Um, I believe it's 8,000 anyway. So um, I'm going to be doing a full on paint correction on it, uh, just bringing the paint work up, and also going to be doing, um, well, applying Matrix Blue, which is the Auto Smart Matrix three year ceramic coating to the car. Um, I'm not sure how long the customer's going to have the car, but um, she wants a three year coating. Um, this car belongs to the wife of um, the chap in my last video with the BMW M8. So don't forget to check that video out and I'll stick that up there. So make sure you give that a click. Cheers, check it out. So there you have the car, that's the before. Um, it's going to need a wash, decontamination, clean up the wheels, get it ready for paint correction, make sure the paintwork is nice and clean. Um, and don't forget, if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe. Um, you can get to see what kind of uh, things that I do, detailing wise. Um, I don't just do cars, I do motorcycles as well. Um, so come summertime, you'll be getting a lot more bikes from me. Um, and yeah, so please do hit subscribe. Please give us a notification bell, click that to make sure you get to know when I put up some videos so you guys can enjoy. Um, and please hit that like button. So without further ado, let's start washing this car. Um, first we just rinse with a jet wash, then decontamination and then snow foam wash it and um, get it nice and clean, ready for paint correction. Watch it, guys.
Perfect.
Perfect. Okay guys, so the wheels have been cleaned. Um, I've just sprayed the decontamination um, traffic film or traffic film remover, um, fallout remover, some people call it, whatever. Um, it reacts to the um, metal filings or metal debris or any contamination from brake dust and things like that. It reacts to the iron in that and it comes out and shows it purple. So. Um, I've sprayed it all over the car, done the wheels and everything. Let's check out um, what it looks like. Okay, so you can see it on the paintwork. All these little purple specks. That's all contamination and fallout. It's worse on the back end. And this is all debris and rubbish off the road from other people's cars, brake dust, etc. All being 
contaminating the paintwork basically and um, so I'll put it on the paint leave it on there for a while let it react let it start lifting off the traffic film and then it um, gets washed away so you can see the bonnet's just got loads of speckles so once that's washed away the paintwork becomes smooth and then I'll have to have a, assess it to see if I'm going to use a clay bar on it um, and we'll go from there hey guys it is now day two I had to miss a day in between because um, my daughter at school one of the classmates had a uh, covid so that whole year got sent home so i had to stay home with her because she's only four years old so i had to take care of her so i couldn't do the car yesterday i had to ring the customer last minute nice of the school to send me a text at 7 35 in the morning um last minute so I had to make last minute preparations anyway but i'm here today day two it would have been day three but it's day two. I've done the front end polishing. I've done the drive, driver's door, passenger door is nearly done. I'm just going to work my way around the car today and I will hopefully get the prep, um, all the polishing done and um, get the ceramic on by this evening. Ready to dry overnight. So tomorrow morning it should be nice and dry and the customer can have the car back. So without further ado, let's check this car out. Um, it looks a lot nicer, a lot more glossier, but you'll be the judge of that. Take a look. Now I'm really surprised at this car, the condition of the paint. Um, it's very good. Um, it's not got a lot of contaminants. It's not got a lot of scratches. Um, the way I see it is, if, what's the point of polishing a car for a two-stage correction? Because you're just gonna take off clear coat for no reason. If you don't need it, why bother do it? So um, I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to have a look around the car, judge each panel as I do it, and if it needs a two stage on the panel then I'll do it, otherwise I'll just do a single stage correction, which means one stage, um, nothing else, and um, then go with that. So judge each panel as it comes really, but yeah, you can see the bonnet looks really nice now, gloss and um, hopefully get the um, ceramic. I did um, make a mistake in my first video when I said it's matrix blue that's going on the car. It's not, it's actually matrix black, the eight year coating that I'm gonna put it on it. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, um, I better start cracking on. I've got a lot of work ahead, not a lot of time to be honest because of yesterday. So I'll get cracking. Okay guys, it's now 5.30 in the evening. I've just finished the polishing of the whole car. I've wiped it down with the IPA solution. That, what that does is gets rid of any contaminants on the paint, any polish residue, any grease or anything. So it's ready for the ceramic uh, to adhere to the paintwork. So without further ado, let's take a look at this paintwork. I think it looks awesome. You tell me what you think, guys.